How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mike, and welcome back to episode 18 of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. So today, we're going to be taking on Blaine, the seventh gym leader in the Kanto region, but right now, the door is locked. We need to go find the key, and I believe the key is hidden in the Cinnabar Mansion. So let's go in there and find out where the key is. Now, I've already gotten my encounter here, so everything that pops up, unfortunately, <laughs> Look at that, right at the beginning. Zapdos over there. Unfortunately, how cool these Pokemon might be, I can't catch any of them. That sucks. The Zapdos that I can't catch. Also, in between the episodes, I did a little bit of training. I didn't really train the main members of my team that I've been using a lot, but I wanted to bring up Finn and Mara a few levels. I think I leveled up Sidious a little bit too. So now everybody's... Oh, Business Kakuna! There you are, buddy! I've been waiting to see you! Like, where was this before when I came in here the first time? Oh my gosh, I just made a whole separate video about Business Kakuna, so that's so- That's actually kind of funny that we're seeing one right now. But let's go up on the second floor, let's keep going. I think I know the way to get through this whole place. Oh my gosh, all the cool Pokemon here. Scyther, Zapdos, Business Kakuna- Oh my god, that's a shiny! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh my god! That's a shiny Persian! What in the world? Whoa! Whoa! Yes! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This episode's amazing! Now normally, I can't catch anything in here, but shiny Pokemon, shiny claws, we can catch it! Oh my god! Whoa! A random shiny! That's insane! That's so cool! I've been waiting, 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 and hoping we'd find the shiny Pokemon this whole run! Oh my god! 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 That's so cool! We just caught a shiny Persian! Oh my god! I, like, rarely ever catch shiny Pokemon unless I'm hunting for them! That's insane! Look at this! Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at this guy! Look at this beauty! Oh my god! Oh my god, alright. Alright, I need to calm down. Alright, we're gonna name her Padme. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That is so cool. We found a shiny Pokemon. I'm gonna put her on the team temporarily while we run through this little place. Padme the shiny Persian, and she's not showing up behind me. Did I make her follow me? I think so, yeah. I guess Pokemon don't follow you around in here. I guess we'll have to check her out once we get out of this place, but oh my god. I was just talking about how the Pokemon in here are so cool, and I wish I got another encounter, and then bang! We just found a shiny Persian. That's insane. I literally never find shiny Pokemon ever unless I'm like hunting for them. So for me personally, this is pretty crazy. Now, here's the fun part. Let's not get lost in here. Um, I think I need to push this switch. And then I think we need to go down. I think that's the way in this place. And then we go down the ladder, right? Or is there a third switch that I'm missing? I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, I, I can't get over this. Anyway, let's battle this trainer, and that's so weird looking right the right now. That's so weird looking directly below me at that Pokemon that like half spawned. You can see the aura swirling around, but you can't actually see what it is. So I guess we'll find out what that Pokemon is after we get through this battle with the scientist or gentleman Ted. Gentleman Ted, I can't believe we just found the shiny Pokemon. My voice is done. I just screamed at like the top of my lungs. That's incredible. That is incredible. But here we are, we're in a battle. I think this is our first time ever using uh, Mara. So let's see how much this Bone Meringue does. It hits two times, so it should be as strong as like an Earthquake would be. So I'm assuming this is gonna be pretty good. Now, Wigglytuff's a pretty bulky Pokemon. Bulky Pokemon, not Bulka. Bulka Polka. I don't even know what I'm saying here. But uh, we don't wanna get put to sleep, that's for sure. Come on, one of these, it would be nice if it was a crit. Oh, there we go! This is definitely the luckiest episode ever. Now let's just dodge that Sleep Powder again. Or it's gonna go for Facade, all right. And Mara tanks that really well, nice. So I think all we need is one more Bone Meringue, and that should be it. Oh, wait, it speed ties me? And then it's gotta go for the Sleep Powder. Come on, I thought this was gonna be easy and simple. Mara! Alright, we gotta wake Mara up. We gotta wake Mara up. Let's see, we've got the Awakenings. Let's try that out. I bought some more Awakenings in between the episodes. Let's go! Wake up, Mara! Wake right back up, because we need to get through this so we can battle Blaine. Alright, you snooze, you lose, we're awake! Now let's hope we outspeed it this time, or at least win the speed tie, because I don't want to have to use another awakening on this thing. Yes, good. 
show you what a real facade is like. Boom! Out of here, Wigglytuff. Okay, one more Pokemon, then we can keep going through this. I feel like I missed a switch, I'm really not sure. And a Doug Trio, rest in peace, I miss mine. Let's see, I'm gonna bring out against Doug Trio. Let's bring out Dooku. I think Dooku should be okay. We'll dodge the ground moves, and then we can just go for a flamethrower neutral damage. Also, bringing out my Venusaur wouldn't be that bad either. Yeah, but I was predicting that, so I think this works pretty well. Let's just go for the flamethrower. It's not really a bulk of Pokemon, so I think this should be okay. Leering me down. Bye-bye, Doug Trio. Hopefully, this is a one-hit KO. No, it's gonna be a two-hit KO. I don't think it could do anything to me this turn. Let's see. Stun Spore. Wow. All these Pokemon with, like, the status moves. It's so annoying. Very, very annoying. But, hey, we hit through the Paralysis. Awesome. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. I still can't believe it. We found the Shiny Persian in here. That is so cool. You know, I really thought my first Shiny in this run... Oh, it was a Zapdos the whole time. Well, let's see if we can slide by that Zapdos. No, we have to get into the battle with the Zapdos. But I thought that when I would find the shiny Pokemon, it would be when I would be training off screen. So that's why I usually always used to like try recording my training sessions because if I did find the shiny off screen, it would have been pretty cool. But no, we found it in the middle of the episode, which is kind of awesome. All right, so this is the basement floor. Yeah, we definitely missed the switch because this should be open. So I guess we got to go back up. All right, I got super lost off screen. So I'm just cutting all that part out because, oh my gosh, you don't want to watch me wander around this place for about 30 minutes so confused. Anyway, I think we found the key that we're looking for. Nope, that's the max elixir. That's not what we're looking for. I think this is actually where uh, Anakin was made. Let me bring out Anakin real quick, uh, real quick and see what Anakin has to say about this. Let's bring him out. Where is Anakin in my box of Pokemon over here? Long time no see, Anakin. Welcome back to the team temporarily. Let's bring you out of the ball. Let's see if you actually come out because every... There we go. Ooh, he has a little reaction over there. What are you saying, Anakin? What's going on? Anakin is staring ahead at the large machine. This place is honestly really crazy because if you look at the Pokemon lore, this is where Mewtwo was made. It's a large container made of thick glass. It looks as if something has been beating on it over and over from the inside. I can only imagine what Anakin went through over here, and I don't want to bring him back. But is this what we're looking for? Is this the key? Yes, the secret key. All right, I'm going to get out of this mansion. It was fun finding the shiny here, but getting lost here for like 30 minutes or however long I was actually down here was not fun for me. So I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center. We're going to heal up, and then we're going to take on Blaine. And as much as I really want to use Padme because, you know, shiny Pokemon and everything, we're not going to use Padme right now simply because Padme is not ready for these battles that are coming up. Uh, Padme is only level 42, so I think if I use Padme, she is definitely going to die. So instead, the team that we're going to go into the gym with is Mara, Dooku, Sidious, Finn, Phasma, and Chewbacca. Nice balanced team. Giving a few of the legendary Pokemon a little break. They'll have their time to shine when we go face the Elite Four. But for now, I think these guys will be able to do it. They've all proven themselves really well. So let's go against gym leader number seven. It looks like I just walked into like a little art museum. I see little pictures. I see statues with glasses on them. Kind of weird. Yo, champ in the making. This gym is... Here we go, first question. Ooh, am I getting quizzed? Is this like school again? Oh, I like his tie. Do you see his tie? It is like flames on and everything. Wait, Mr. Blaine, it's not your turn yet. Oh, that's right. All right. <laughs> okay, then. Er, the old man you just saw there was the gym leader, Blaine. He is a fire-type Pokemon pro. You did so well finding the secret key to get in here, so I think you're ready to take on the gym. So we're gonna have to answer some quizzes. I think I know the quizzes. What do you say? Ready to start? Yes, I am. No need to be shy then. Step right up. All right, Pokemon quizzes. Can we pass? Let's find out. Challengers get asked five questions. Get one right, you get a Blaine doll. Get one wrong, you get the battle of students. You know what? I think I might get one wrong on purpose because I wouldn't mind battling a student seeing what levels there are. Which is the Spitfire Pokemon, Magmar or Growlithe? Well, the answer to that is Magmar. Okay, and the final judgment... <laughs> Look at him over there. He starts dancing in the corner. I forgot about that. Ooh, I like the little Blaine doll. How many gym badges are there? Ah, uh, seven, eight, seven, eight. I don't know. Seven. All right, let's see. Ooh, sorry. Bad call. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I guess we have the battle of trainer now. You were close, but ultimately wrong. We have the battle of burglar. He's a thief, but he went straight. So, all right. Let's battle him. Ooh, Channeler Quinn. Okay, two Pokemon. Hope I'm not going to regret this after the battle's over. 
Vile Flume. Well, I'm already regretting starting off with Mara. So let's get Mara out of here. Oh, I probably should have started off with somebody else for the gym battle, too. All right, level 48, not bad. Blaine is definitely going to outlevel us, though. Blaine is going to have some pretty high-leveled stuff. But Dooku will definitely be the answer here. Let's bring him out. And I like the little tiles on the ground. The X's and the O's. Vine Whip. Vine Whip? You're level 48 and you're using Vine Whip against me? Come on now. Let me show you what a real powerful move is like. Flamethrower. Bye-bye, Vile Plume. Very nice. Great job, Dooku. Ooh, and we're getting Dooku to level 52 now. Wow, awesome. So nice seeing Dooku at level 50. Again, I hope Dooku stays with me for the rest of the run. We don't have that much further to go. Phasma's at level 50, and then a Mew 3! Oh, there we go! There we go! Everybody's got Mew 3 now, except me! I'm kind of disappointed we didn't catch a Mew 3 throughout this whole run. I really wanted one. Ooh, Skull Bash. That's gonna be pretty powerful. But I think we can tank a Skull Bash. Dooku's pretty strong, has 150 HP. We should be fine against the Skull Bash. Let's hit him with another Flamethrower, and then we gotta take a pretty powerful move. Burn would be- Oh, there we go! The luck that I'm getting this episode is insane! That is insane! Because we burned it, and since when a Pokemon gets burned, their attack gets lowered, that Skull Bash actually did less damage. That is awesome! There we go, Mew3 is down and out! Let's keep going, and oh my god, my voice is gonna be done by the end of this episode. This is all so exciting. Mew3, shiny Pokemon, I'm loving this episode. A hard-won victory, you won a Blaine doll! Sweet. Alright, let's get the rest of these questions right. <laughs> it would be funny if I actually got one wrong. A steel move used on a fire type, not very effective. It's the other way around for super effective moves. And there we go, the dancing Blaine again. Alright, we have three Blaine Dolls, Tombstony. I don't know what TM28 has, but I know Tombstony is not a move, so let's go with FALSE! That is incorrect! Alright, and one more question. Alright, what's the last question? Final question! Who are you about to battle? Blaine, the Cinnabar Island Gym Leader, a Fire-type Pokémon Pro, a hot-headed quiz master, a mustached old man, or an old guy in sunglasses? You know what, I'm gonna go with a mustached old man. And what's my answer? Yes, I'm right! Alright, let's do it! Five Blaine dolls, let's battle the big man himself! The mustached old man, Blaine. Where are you, Blaine? Oh, you're coming out of the curtains? That is some entrance. Which means, it's time for our battle! I'm Blaine, the red-hot gym leader here! My fiery Pokémon are all rough and ready with intense heat! They incinerate all challengers! Ha! Hope you brought some burn heals! Let's do it! Gym leader number seven! Let's go! Gym Leader Blaine. Ooh, look at his eyes! The flaming eyes and Snorlax! That's one way to start off the battle. Is that shiny? No, that's regular. That's another Pokemon that always throws me off when I see it. Thinking if it's shiny or not. Okay! Now this is interesting. So it's level 51. Chewbacca's the only Pokemon we have at level 51. Might be a tough battle. So I think I'll send out Chewbacca here. Chewbacca's got the super effective moves, so we should be alright there. Although Snorlax is extremely bulky, so I'm also thinking about sending out Finn, because I know Finn can definitely stall him out. Ooh, Shell Smash. That is terrifying. Oh no. Raising your attack? Snorlax is already a really powerful Pokemon. At least this means the Brick Break is going to do more damage. That's good, and we should still definitely out- No way! Oh no, this is not- No! Chewbacca survived with the- Oh my gosh, we got lucky and it survived there. Oh my gosh! No! Alright, so we're about to die if we stay in. Uh, who can swap into this? Alright, Sidious has the defense of a god, so we're gonna send out Sidious. Oh my gosh, Chewbacca! Chewbacca did not want to die! That should have killed him, but it didn't! Thank you, Chewbacca, for hanging on there! Oh my gosh, Shell Smash Snorlax! Yeah, that does so much, even to Sidious. Alright, so what we need to hope for here is if we're... For it to hit itself in confusion. I'm gonna go use a Hyper Potion now to bring up our health again. We really need it to hurt itself. I don't think anybody on our team has a priority move that we can just send out right now. Oh my gosh. Come on, Snorlax. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Oh, he's going for Outrage again. Alright, well, we're gonna have to try healing again. Come on, we gotta get lucky one time. It's gotta hurt itself. This is item number two. This is its first Pokemon, too. That's so scary. This thing could easily wipe out our whole team. Oh no, it snapped. Oh gosh. 
here's the thing. If I stop healing, I know it's gonna kill me. We gotta do it again. We gotta wait for it to hurt itself. This is such a lame strategy, and I'm so sorry I'm doing it, but I don't want anybody to die. Okay, Sidious. Please, please hurt yourself. No, he's gonna keep doing it. Alright, forget it. Forget it. I'm not gonna be lame anymore. Ice Beam! Come on! Please! No! I'm sorry, Sidious. I just didn't want to be lame the whole fight. Oh, you did well, Sidious. You really did. Alright, now we gotta look at the speeds. So we have two strategies here. We can try to outspeed it, or we can go for something that should be able to just tank it. I think Dooku can do both. I think Dooku can tank an Outrage, and I'm pretty sure that Dooku would just plain outspeed this thing. Because Dooku is a lot faster than Chewbacca is. So let's see. Will this flamethrower? Yes, it will be. Okay, Snorlax down. It's terrible that we had to lose Sidious for it. I tried using Hyper Potions until it hit itself, but that just didn't want to happen. Chewbacca's level 52. Chewbacca should be dead too. And we are so lucky that we still have Chewbacca right now. Oh my gosh. Kabutops. Alright, we're out of here. Dooku, nice job taking out that monstrous Snorlax, that Shell Smash Outrage combo. That's something you'll never see on a Snorlax, and that was probably the scariest thing I've ever seen on a Snorlax. But we're gonna bring out Finn here. Hopefully he goes for a water move. Yeah, Hydro Pump, we should be able to take that, and then with our Drain move, we should, we should get all the health back. Oh, I'm so glad we have Finn. I'm so glad we have Finn. Come on, Mega Drain him up! Tail Whip, alright, good, he's not gonna swap out. I know a lot of these trainers like to just swap out their Pokemon when they're at disadvantage, but this should be a one-hit KO. Very nice. Very nice. The only scary thing is that Tail Whip could come to hurt us later on if I do want to keep in uh, Finn, but we'll see. It all depends on what he sends out next. Two Pokemon down, Rapidash, alright, well we don't have to worry about that Tail Whip because we're swapping right out, and I'm kind of glad I did have two Water Pokemon on the team after all. Usually I don't really like having two Pokemon of the same type, but I figured because, you know, uh, Sidious was also part Ice type, it was diverse enough, but now that Sidious is dead, I'm really appreciating having Phasma on the team, and Phasma always takes those fire moves really well. And now we should be able to threaten it right back with the Waterfall, let's do it. Oh, he's going for the Will-O-Wisp, but we dodge! We dodge, that's nice, and Rapidash is down, that's three of his Pokémon down. Three to go! Oh my gosh. Whew! Okay, Mewtwo! Blade is- Mega Mewtwo X! He is Mega Mewtwo X! Oh no! Oh no! What can we do against this thing? Oh no, that's powerful! That's scary! Alright, let's just keep going for the waterfall. He's going for Psychic. That will hurt a lot. Okay, Phasma can tank one Psychic. I don't know about two though. Oh gosh. Alright. So, here's the plan. Chewbacca can't swap in. Finn can't swap in. Dooku's not gonna swap in well. Uh, Mara's not gonna swap in well. So we're gonna try going for a Hyper Potion. Heal this guy up. Phasma. This is what? Item number four? And then I see that we have like the little Eevee assist at the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna try using that to give us like more defense and everything. Or, oh wow. We got the special defense drop too. Alright, so in that case, ooh, this is scary. This is really scary. Let's go for an X special defense right now on Phasma. That'll bring us up two stages, which is, which is effectively only going to be one stage right now. Because that last Psychic dropped our special defense, which was very annoying. Phasma's just barely hanging on. We can't really take this much longer. And I do have one Max Potion. We're going to use this right now, bring Phasma all the way back up to full health. Looks like we're going to use every single item we've got this battle. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of scared. We might actually lose this one. Strength. Okay. Got a little cocky there. Now, I'm gonna go all in with Phasma. Let's use our Eevee Assist. Eevee Support, let's go. Boost my stats, everything. Attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed. Okay, now, I'm not sure, will we outspeed the Mewtwo? We might, let's try Waterfall. No, he's still gonna outspeed us and he's still going for that strength, which is still gonna do a decent amount of damage. Oh gosh. Alright, one more waterfall will take this thing out. 
Let's go for our last item. Let's use our last hyper potion. I should have bought more max potions, but that's okay. Hindsight is, you know, 2020. Can't do much about it now. Alright, he's going for uh, psychic, you know, saying psychic. I don't know what psychic is. Okay. So that's every item. We can't use any more items after this. I Whoa! Oh my gosh, that's two! That's two deaths that should have happened, but didn't. Oh my gosh, we're getting so lucky this episode. We got critted, and then we've just hung on. Thank you, Phasma. Thank you so much, buddy. All right. Now, it pains me to want to switch out of Phasma right now. It really... I don't want to. But, here's the thing. I have two options here. I can try swapping into somebody like Dooku or Mara and just, like, tank it. But the problem is here, I don't have any more items. So, like, let's say I swap in Dooku or let's say I swap in, like, Mara. If they take a lot of damage, that's it. Right now, I think our best bet at taking this thing out is using Waterfall on Phasma with all the boosts that we have. So, Phasma, please get a flinch or, like, kill it or something. Clear Smog. Oh, I guess we lose Phasma. Phasma, you did great. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much. <sighs> Blaine. Blaine. Taking out all my favorite Pokemon. Dooku, come on. Hit him with that flamethrower. Avenge Phasma. Nice. Ugh. Was always worried about what could happen there. And the last Pokemon is another Kabutops? Alright. Well, we've taken out one. We could take out one more. Come on out, Finn, again. Sucks that we lost two Pokemon here. I'm not sure if I did the right thing with Phasma or not. Because, again, we had that 30% chance of flinching. And that could have worked. And the thing is, if Golbat did something stronger, Dooku could have taken a lot of damage on the switch in, and I wasn't sure if it would outspeed it. So I feel like I did the right thing. But it's always rough when you have to make that decision on losing a Pokemon. But hey, we defeated Blaine. It's kind of funny how he had two of the same Pokemon. I feel like that happened twice now. We're running the trainers that just have like two of the same. But wow, that was a rough battle. Mega Mewtwo X, that Snorlax that almost, that could have swept my team. Craziness. Craziness. But we got Gym Badge number seven. And we got the TM for Fire Blast. But even though we beat some gym leaders, we did lose two incredible Pokemon from the team. Sidious, Phasma, thank you guys so much. You both were amazing. And now, I'll be giving you guys the rest that you deserve. So next time, we're going to take on Gym Leader number 8, our final Kanto badge. And this episode was kind of all over the place, you know? We caught ourselves a shiny Pokemon in a place that we weren't even supposed to get an encounter in to begin with, so that was really awesome. But we also lost Phasma, and we also lost Sidious, so, you know, you can't have everything. Phasma, again, I'm not really sure. I don't know if I should have switched. In hindsight, like, if I knew it was going to go for Clear Smog, I would have switched into Dooku, but I was expecting something more powerful coming from that Golbat, because, again, you never know what's going to happen. And I figured that would be the safest bet. If we did get the Waterfall Flinch, this would have looked totally different. We would have still had Phasma alive. But, you know, we can't depend on chance. We can't depend on chance. Chewbacca is here. I don't even know why Chewbacca's alive. Chewbacca just wanted to hang in there. We shouldn't have Chewbacca right now. Phasma should have died too earlier. So it's just amazing, you know? Pokemon, they have their own personalities. They don't want to go. And we're seeing that come out right now. So guys, I'll see you in the next episode where we take on the 8th Gym Leader. Take care.